All right, I am going to do a super, super, super quick uh, demo on this um, new Simon Says integration for DaVinci Resolve. The basics are that when you install Simon Says, you also get the option to install some scripts, um, which come up in Resolve in scripts, comp, Simon Says. So we have these options here. So now if I hit transcribe clips and bin, uh, it's gonna use the selected uh, bin that I am uh, in to send those clips out to Simon Says. If I jump over to the Simon Says app, it's asking me to select uh, those clips in here. So we'll go through and select those. It will then do a quick transcode uh, and, uh, and then upload and transcribe those clips for me. So I can jump over to this one that I've done earlier where I can uh, quickly go in and um, if I wanted to, I could actually edit and modify and work within here. I can also do this in the web. Uh, so if I go to the Simon Says uh, transcription here, I can very, very easily uh, jump around as I like. I can play back this at different speeds uh, and so that I can play along and then have a different user and I can update my transcriptions as I go. Uh, so if I went uh, and proxies are, I can sort of play that through. Um, so yeah, there's a lot that you can do within here. I'm just sort of showing the integration though, so I'm not gonna go into too much details, um, but just to point out that you do have the option there of adding different speakers uh, and that information is relevant when you come back to the app. So if I come into here and I say I wanna send this back to Venture Resolve, I'm gonna use markers, next. I can then jump back into Resolve, go back to my scripts import scripts to clips and there we go so we've got those um, all of these transcription sections now attached to all those clips uh, if i go to the media page i can actually lay this out so i can see my comments uh, i'm going to put them there and you can see the people speaking as well as the text and then also this is searchable um, so i can go in here and say uh, proxy Ooh. proxy uh, and it's going to find anywhere where i'm talking about proxies um, so i can of course uh, take those sections and, and jump straight to them in here and proxy is generated I play through i can jump to my edit page uh, open up this clip um, jump to those sections and um, you know, so I can very easily, um, you know, mark it in and out, drop that to my timeline, um, if you need. and do my normal editing. Uh, but where it is very, very cool is that I can also, within the new uh, edit dot Simon says, I can actually build out a timeline. So I can come in here and say, I want to do this, grab this section here, drop that there. Uh, and go get access da, 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 da. drop that over there uh, and then let's just wrap it up at the end and i can of course then uh, play this um, and if you want to look back. at any of the solution and um and then i can also rearrange this if i wanted to uh, and then when I'm ready to, I can actually export this project straight back to Resolve uh, as an XML file. And then within Resolve, if I want to pull this back into my project, let's go import XML, and then uh, I can give it a name, but typically I just want to deselect everything and say what, uh, bins i would like it to look for its media in so i say use the clips from that bin and then we yeah got our timeline i am um, that i've cut yeah in the web browser there linked back to my media in here uh with again with all the transcriptions and everything carried through to this timeline uh so there we go i hope that has been a helpful quick demo and uh yeah feel free to get in touch if if you need some more info thanks